So I think the new Gallant is looking pretty darn good. What do you think? Looks pretty good to me. Cool. Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm just here to do a quick video today with an update on my Gallant from Classic Firearms, the Galeo clone. And this is going to be a rather short video. Well, short by my standards. So go ahead, grab some popcorn, take a bathroom break. But no, it's going to be a rather short video. Basically, you guys know the deal. I got my original Gallant. It was not quite right to say the least i was ready to show it on my live stream i showed it and not so good but if you look at my other follow-up videos and you should go back and look at my you know video library you'll see several on this gallant right off the bat as disappointed as i was in the rifle and as raw as a review as i was giving you guys i was just showing you guys exactly what i got and that's what this channel is always going to be by the way because i'm not here to talk anyone into buying anything i'm not here to dissuade anyone from buying anything i'm just going to show you guys how it is i showed you how the rifle was it wasn't good whatever but right off the bat look mistakes happen this gun ended up slipping through the cracks should have never got out the door it did whatever but you don't really judge people when everything's going perfect you judge people by how do they take care of you when there's a problem and when the chips are down as the saying goes right so right away, Clint from Classic Firearms, you guys can go back and look in that original stream. He reached out to me on a Sunday and said, oh man, we feel terrible. We're going to take care of you. And I gave you guys a follow-up video and said, you know what? Classic got a hold of me. We talked. Clint's been great to deal with, as well as the other people I talked to that work there in customer service and whatnot. And the last time I talked to you guys, I basically said, hey, look. Classics assured me they're going to take care of me. I have the utmost confidence that they will. And whatever happens, if they send me another one that's great, you guys will be the first to know. If there's something not so good, you guys will be the first to know. Well, look, guys, I'm really happy to report that I did get my replacement Gallant. It's right here. And this rifle is everything that I was hoping for. And I'm very, very pleased. We're just going to take a quick look at it right now. I did opt for the extra $20 upcharge since I had to wait for, you know, the replacement to come in because they sold out of these like so fast. So anyways, I did the $20 upcharge to get the wood handguard this time around. But look at this thing, guys. The bluing is nice on the receiver. The machining is like a thousand percent better. Everything on this gun. Look at this. Can you hear it rattling? That's because it's not the fitment of this gun very very nice from front to back and this is pretty cool <laughs> i'm really really excited guys that's why i was so frustrated in my first video because i wanted one of these so freaking bad look at those correct israeli type markings on there this is cool for those of us including me that can't afford an original imi pre-band this is it guys so Look, you guys know I'm self-employed. I just got a rush job that has to be done like ASAP before Christmas here. I want to spend time to do a proper thorough review of this gun. So there's definitely going to be a full review coming. The main point to this video is just to let you guys know that the people at Classic Firearms, they're really nice people. They took care of me right away. They actually had this rifle to my local FFL ready to go rather last week. FedEx, they kind of dropped the ball. It didn't come until Monday, so I was able to pick it up yesterday, but that's not really anybody's fault. You know what? FedEx is always behind around Christmas, and I'd rather all the cute little boys and girls get their Christmas presents over me getting my rifle a couple days early. But yeah, if you're wondering why it took a little longer than you guys would have thought for me to get this, they actually sent it to me very promptly. FedEx didn't make the Friday delivery. I was busy Monday. Now you're going to see this video Thursday and, you know, you guys know how it goes. But yeah, everyone was really nice to me about taking care of this. And you know what? I can tell right away this is a good one, guys. Real quick here. I mean, awesome. Feels just like any normal milled AK receiver would. Everything's nice and smooth. It's got the cool bipod up front which I really, really like. Now, I opted to buy the Deluxe Shooters package, so I got the bipod, the bayonet log. I've got the 
US M7 bayonet with the M8A1 scabbard. The particular one I got actually looks like it's brand new old stock from what I can tell. I know these are going to vary because these are, you know, surplus parts, but I've got the bayonet, the original IMI magazine, Tapco magazine. I've got the sling. I've got the hard case that's in the other room right now. But yeah, they took care of me, guys. They really, really did. Really, really nice people, too. Um, look, I was never mad at them personally. I was pissed off at the gun that night, of course, but I'm not mad at them. They're not mad at me. In fact, they were really, really nice, and they accommodated. As soon as they got another rifle that they could exchange for me, they did. Very, very happy with it. So here's what I'm looking forward to doing, guys. I'm going to take this out on the range. I'm definitely going to be shooting it. You'll see videos of that. We're going to do a real in-depth overview of the gun itself. I also have an idea of some history I want to do with it. I know I briefly teased you guys on the last live stream that I have an actual original Galil cut-up parts kit. For those of you that follow me on IG, you saw pictures of it, right? I want to kind of tie that in. Look, I have a whole slew of videos actually with this gun I'm excited to do. As soon as work lightens up just a little bit, you're going to see thorough reviews of this gun. But the main point is I just wanted you guys to know right away so nobody was worrying about me or anything that, you know, everything's good. Really nice people at Classic took care of me. And you guys that have been watching the channel know I've been a customer of theirs for a really long time. And I'm not surprised that they took care of me at all. But I was going to tell you guys whether they did or didn't. And they definitely did. Now, with this Galant, this Galil, if you will, this ties into some other cool guns that we're going to be doing some videos on soon too. Like this Hebrew Hammer, Israeli FN FAO. Real quick here, guys. Let's put them on screen together. Look at this. How pretty is that? The dual wood handguards. I mean, this is just like classic old school Israeli IDF right here. Like, yeah, I I'm, I'm excited, guys. I really am. So, just thought I would let you guys know everything's going to be all good here. Very, very happy with the replacement. Really want to do a video on this. So, as soon as I get time, I'm going to be doing some more videos on these rifles. And don't worry, there's still going to be videos coming up here, you know, every day, including my live stream on Friday, because I always think ahead. Being self-employed, there could always be an emergency project, and I have a decent amount of videos that are already recorded on all the topics we've been talking about. So we're still going to have videos on here every day, and as soon as I get a chance, you guys are definitely going to get some really cool reviews on my replacement Gallant, the FNFAL. And I have some more AK videos that are going to be popping up in just the next couple days, actually. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. And have a good one.